let's be honest. You're sitting here right now and you're asking yourself one single question. How the hell do I get viral? How the hell do I become this popular YouTuber, TikToker, Instagram model that I just so aspire to be? How do I get millions and millions of views and millions and millions of subscribers? Every one of us sitting here is thinking one thing. We want to be popular, right? We're just teenagers with a dream. And the dream never comes. It never becomes a reality. I know you're like sitting on YouTube homepage all the day. Like I used to do that, right? I would scroll down to my feed and I would see these random videos, such as titles like happiness or like these random videos that have like one word titles that have no reason to go popular. They have these terrible thumbnails as well. Like it's not like these clickbait YouTubers who just hold the head up and be like, oh my God, that's so surprising. It's not, it's just genuine, genuine videos that are like 15 seconds long that get millions of views. Why is that? You're sitting here right now, you just be like, why the hell can I not emulate that? You definitely tried, right? I definitely tried. I've tried to do like multiple videos just like this, but why does it not work out? All right, so today I'm just gonna talk about a book I read recently. Literally, I'm gonna talk about the psychology of selling. The psychology of selling is going through the four step process mentioned in this book, Contagious how to build word of mouth in the digital digital age literally all the knowledge i've gained from the book i'm going to give it to you the four acronym the four step acronym literally goes like step it's social currency triggers emotions and practical value i'm gonna tell you everything about how to like play on people's heartstrings and shit so this is a complete video i'm just going to talk to you nothing too much nothing too clickbait so number one I think this is a super, super big one to understand. It's social currency. So I remember back when I was like younger, when I was actually using like Insta Reels or something, I would see these kind of reels about like rappers or something or about like uh, trendy things, you know, like you know, like all these like, oh, these oh, really cringe things. I don't even want to do like these. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. It's, it's just these tr trends, right? Like the gritty, you know, like the grit. You know what I'm saying? Like I would send those videos to my friends because I thought they would make me cooler, you know? Because I'm on the trend. I have these kind of like social hierarchy. Like I don't want to refer to it as social hierarchy, but we do have it in current society. And we want to rise the social hierarchy because we want to seem cooler to our friends. Like, hey, I'm following this trend. So the main thing is to realize that this is all like psychological, right? We are social animals. And the reason why we send videos, like these kind of trendy videos, to our friends is because, you know, we want to seem like we belong to a tribe, right? Since everyone is uh, talking about these kind of things, we should talk about it as well. So literally step one, takeaway one of my video is that if you can make a video that is very trendy, that is very popular, that is, you know, rel relating to what is happening right now, it's very possible that you go viral. There's a higher chance. So number two, step two, I want to talk about is triggers. I would like to point out that I would associate myself with a pretty disciplined YouTube watcher, right? I'm not the kind of guy who just goes on YouTube shorts and like scores for two hours in a row. You might be, you should stop. But <laughs> if, if, if you're just like me, you wouldn't understand that we just watch videos to get like the practical value out of YouTube videos, right? We genuinely think it's like a site where we can learn stuff, where we can genuinely like um, enhance our knowledge and leverage this knowledge we have. And just once in a while, I would actually click on a video that is not something I would normally watch. And like a recent example of this, I remember seeing this video pop on my home screen like so many times to the point that I actually clicked on it. It's titled, if this video shows up to you, you're not normal. Like, oh my God, how clickbait of a title do you want that to be? But the reason why I clicked onto it is because I genuinely associate myself with not being normal. And why is that, you think? What is the psychology behind that? It's because we are like animals, right? We want to think that we are the center of everything. We would want to think that we are, you know, like special in some way. We want to t be told that we are unique, that we are, uh, you know, like totally authentic, which is exactly what you should be. But, you know, when people affirm that character trait of us, we feel like, you know, we, we feel good, you know, we feel special. And 
like seeing that video is just so relatable to everyone because everyone thinks they're special, right? It's, it's so relatable to 7 billion people out there that I would just click on it, that everyone would just click on it. Now it probably has like 300K views. Like, like why? But it just go, it just went vi viral. So a very important takeaway too is that if you can make a video that is completely relatable to the mass majority of people watching YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever out there, there's a higher chance of you going viral. <laughs> Step three, and this is emotion. Uh, three, <laughs> this is three. Um, I think this is personally like my favorite one. Emotions is such a cool uh, concept to leverage in video making in today's society, right? Um, like, I don't know about you, but I've definitely seen these like YouTube ads. It's so like, like, not annoying, but it's overused. It's very, very overused. You would see like these UNICEF things where they show like a uh, hungry Afghani children or like hungry uh, children and like disabled children from like war fronts in the Middle East. And obviously these are not things that we want to see. And as generous people, we would genuinely like think, okay, I really feel sorry for them. I feel sad for them. I feel pity for them. However, I wouldn't like donate to them because you know, it's just, it's just, it's so overused. And it's such a thing that comes back and back and back on our YouTube feed that we genuinely get annoyed about how, you know, they're trying to play on our heartstrings. Let's say that. However, as the book literally says, sadness in the, the psychology of like literally selling is not a high arousal emotion. The reason why we're trying to make viral videos is that we are trying to arouse this kind of emotion in people that, uh, like makes them click on it right that's why like random videos from like some news showing like uh i don't know like a nine-year-old girl getting murdered like that is more emotional than looking at you know hungry people because we feel pity for them whereas the five emotions detailed in this book which are high arousal emotions like anger anxiety contentment uh, no hap uh, like uh, uh amusement excitement and awe Literally, like, anger and anxiety are used for, like, the nine-year-old girl getting murdered. Like, we would be, like, anxious about such a thing. Like, we would, like, we, are, we want to protect our kids, right? So, if you can leverage, literally, takeaway three, if you can leverage these, like, really, really high arousal emotions, such as, let me say it again, awe, excitement, amusement, anger, and anxiety, there's definitely a higher chance of you going viral, like... Imagine just looking at this video and be like super worried over it, you know? I would click on it. I would genuinely click on a video that worries me or angers me. And uh, step four, which is the last step, is practical value. Like, you know, how good is your video? Genuinely, this is about the content here. And that's what I like because I like to make videos that are practical for people, right? Um, and these videos um even if you're not like an avid youtube watcher or like content creator you know that practical value is literally the only thing like many people search for on youtube like i personally would go onto youtube not to like go on shorts and, and like be humid right i would like to learn stuff from youtube and i'm pretty sure that's the case for like 70 percent of the people so the thing to realize about practical value is that a lot of the times we're thinking that we would provide practical value by using all these scientific data or whatever. Uh, but the thing is, the main thing is that we need to consider our audience, right? Our audience are probably people who never experience these kind of scientific things. So we need to break it down and explain it very, very simply. We need to simplify everything we learn and we need to regurgitate these kind of information in a very, very simple way, which is exactly why I'm doing this video. I read like a 200 page book and I'm just regurgitating like a 10 minute video to help you learn how to become viral, essentially. So literally the takeaway for here would be if you can make a bite-sized video, like literally what BBC bite sized does so well and so many other like educational channels like Curse Sackett or whatever, um, like uh, The Bright Side. I used to watch all of these. Um, they do so well is that they regurgitate these information. They make it like really practical for, for, for daily use. And then they have a higher chance of becoming viral. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Four steps. Four step. The fourth step. 
for going viral. Social currency triggers emotions and practical value. Hope you learned something in this video. It's, it's such a cool book. Check it out. Name is Contagious by Jonah Berger. All right. Hope you have a nice day. Love you so much. And bye-bye.